Hello YouTube, it is I, Pocket Gamer here, and bringing you a new segment called Pocket... No, not Pocket Gaming, jeez. I'm already messing up at the beginning. A brand new Throwback Sundays. Uh, basically, essentially, as you can already imagine, um, I'm going to be playing classic games, but only for a short time. Like, just little demonstrations you guys can see. So, tonight's episode is going to be, obviously, the first NES game. It's Mar Bros. So, let's go on. It's Mar Bros. was released in... 86. I think it was 86. Let me restart that for you guys. <laughs> Besides that, it's going to be a 10 minute a bit, yeah, 10 minute video. Besides that, um, this is the game I grew up as a child. I had an NES. That was my first console that I played. But then essentially I got introduced to the N64. Um, besides that. Um, this game is fun. I can tell you that for sure. So, if you guys, uh, if actually, this is actually the first game I've ever, go, go ahead, go on the eShop if you're watching this right now. Um, purchase this game. This is the first Mario game that you want to try out since it's the first one. Besides that, I have nothing much else to say, <laughs> say anything today. Um, so Marlboro's was it wasn't my all-time favorite because eventually I got bored because it was too hard. That did not make sense. I would I would get frustrated and leave the game because it was too hard. Besides that, I'm gonna try to see how much I can do. I will use the secret level to see if I can actually beat it tonight. I'm not promising you guys that I will. I'm just saying I'm gonna see if I can. I uh, dumb Koopas, jeez. Uh, run. There we go. First death. Besides that, it's a really simple game. There's nothing much to talk about this game besides uh, Jumpman, aka Mario, aka Mario Mario. <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know what that reference is, go ahead. I'm gonna leave. Well, actually, no, no description because. I got like complaints by YouTube by saying showing a video thread of my friend's channel and um, showing a uh, background music from a specific game. Actually, I'm gonna mention it. It was the Sonic Generations episode on uh, the big big arm boss battle theme, and I got a copyright strike. And I really don't know why they're striking me. There's ten tons of, of other people. Are doing this. Um, but besides that, um, second death, there we go. Well, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and make this a short video since I get game over. Besides that, um, there's nothing much to talk about this game other than run. <laughs> uh, Mario Bros. was really inspiring for many games, especially those really bad at. Uh, App games that are made now nowadays on the iPhone, like uh, Elf Adventure, or whatever it was called. They're like copies of news of Super Mario Bros. And let me tell you, they're not entertaining at all. They're really boring. They tried to do that 60 frame thing and it didn't work out. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Speaking of Super Mario Bros. You guys might be asking, Brent, or Pocket Gamer, what happened to the Super Mario Bros. Let's play or playthrough? And I can simply just tell you guys that is going to be on pause until I start my two-player adventure with my friend. Um, not because I don't want to play right now, but just for the fact that um, playing it alone is kind of boring. And you guys seem to like my first episode for some reason that much. My first episode was hella boring. I don't know how I got so many views on that. <laughs> I at least got, I think it was... Mm, I think I have like 54 views right now on that episode. And all my other episodes have like... that. The, the one I think I have the most is 20. Let me say that. 
We're gonna go ahead and warp to warp five, zone five. Mm, I'm not sure if I think I may. Eh, dead. How many lives do I have? Oh, final life. There you go, guys. If I die this time, this is gonna be the end of the episode. Besides that, um. This game brings a lot of nostalgia for any people. Oh, that's right. Uh, about that movie. Go ahead and search it up. I'm not gonna even freaking bother leaving a thread this time because I got in trouble by doing that. It's called the uh, Super Mario Bros. The Movie. It's this realistic movie one. Um, I would really recommend you guys to watch that. So you guys can understand where the whole Mario Mario reference started. There was actually a... Uh, in the Game Informer magazine when I think it was the New Super Mario Bros. U game was released and issue and it said uh, there was a question is Mario actually Mario's last name and so um, Shigeru Miyamoto uh, founder and creator of Mario simply said no that is not his name people just started going with the joke a lot because it was a joke and I, it was hilarious but besides that we got a little hammer bro but besides that um, if you guys want to watch the movie go ahead and watch it it's really entertaining I'm not saying it's the best movie they made I prefer the anime movie which is Japan only but for some reason they managed to get English dub on it but besides that oh my god and there we go but besides that uh, I guess that's it for throwback Thursday um, you can essentially do the same thing. We got the two-player game, so let's go on to the main menu. If you go to two-player, I'm just gonna die at the beginning. We're just gonna do it by to celebrate that one brother that was ignored. No, no, I <laughs> said I was gonna die. Let's say two. Hi, two. Luigi Mario. <laughs> Oh, that's right. In order, if, since this is the pocket handheld, which is the DS one, all you gotta do for two player is basically hold L and R together. You see a little sign bot at the bottom, and you hold Y, and then now you can play as player two. It's like having two NES controllers in one. I don't see why they didn't, they didn't just simply just put in one controller. Besides that, there's nothing much else to talk about other than that. Um, this game was really great. You guys can go ahead and buy it on the eShop for five dollars, and um, play as Luigi, because Luigi hasn't really gotten enough love. Everyone knows that Luigi deserves love. I think, yeah, it's just a Mario skin. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I think that's it for tonight's episode of Throwback Thursday. Besides that, um, like, comment, and subscribe. This is gonna be. Throwback Thursday, why did I say that? <laughs> Throwback Sundays. Uh, Monday Street. So, this is how my whole schedule thing is gonna go out. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right now. Because. Can't I pause? I guess I can't. Oh well. Anyways. how This is how my schedule is gonna go. Um, Monday to Fridays, it's gonna be the playthroughs, what I do normally. So, like right now, I'm doing my solo playthrough. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And. Uh, Fridays, I'll do a playthrough on Friday, and I'll do a, a Friday night online time episode. I'm not sure about what I'll do Saturday. I think I'll, like, do a multiplayer party thing. But besides that, um, tonight's Sunday, so we'll go ahead and do a little throwback Sunday. So, uh, besides that, um, Super Mario Bros. $5 in the eShop, worth getting. And next time on um, Throwback Sundays, we're going on. We're going to play the sequel to the game, Super Mario Bros. 2: The Lost Levels. But besides that, um, yeah. So you guys see, it's 10 right now. So this video will probably be uploaded to like 11:30 or something. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe my channel. Um, spread out the videos. Like I said, you guys know the drill. Uh, so yeah. Throwback Sunday's first episode. Alright, so besides that, it is iPod Gamer here saying, guys, good night, take care, and have a safe evening. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe.
yada 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 if you have suggestions for future games go ahead and leave it right down there at the comment section alright guys I'll see you later